It is a privilege for us to celebrate your special day with you, all of you dads. We are grateful for each and every one of you. We are grateful for your love and your love, especially for your families. It is um, a wonderful day to celebrate and interesting that it falls on Holy Trinity, uh, where we also celebrate uh, God in the manifestation of three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Creator, Redeemer, Sustainer. Uh, we are grateful that each one of you are here. I see the Trinity as a similar relationship to the relationships that we have. Most everyone has a friend, a BFF, a best friend forever. How many of you have a BFF? I, I have one, her name was, is Patty Gale, Patty Gale Lewis. Uh, her name has changed since then, but um, Patty was very special to me. You know how when you're very, very young, don't you love to see the children holding hands and just delighting in each other's presence? Well, that is the way that Patty Gale and I uh, were in our very early years. She um, moved away when uh, maybe in about the fifth, fourth grade, and I thought my world had come to an end. I grieved and mourned the loss of my friend, but it turns out she moved nine miles away. <laughs> I, I thought, I didn't know, I didn't know what nine miles was exactly, but I just wasn't sure I was ever gonna see her again. But it turns out that her aunt and uncle had uh, a house there about four blocks from ours, they were friends with mom and dad, so I did get to see my friend um, from time to time. And when she would come, she would call, and I would be so filled with joy. I would jump on my bicycle, ride like the wind four blocks to get to her house. And we had this, this ritual dance that we did every time we came together. Uh, I should have asked um, Dave to play this for me, but anyway, it goes like, ra, 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 boom, die. Ra 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 boom die, ra 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 boom die, ra 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 boom. I don't know where it came from. I don't know when it started, but I bet if we met today, we would be doing the same thing. You know, it just was part of our greeting. So, um, of what I noticed was that this friendship with Patty Gale. It created, it, it caused energy. It, it just was a synergistic relationship where we could get into lots of trouble or we could simply be creative. Like when we got together, we made plays up and then our parents would get together in the evening and we would reenact the plays that we had uh, dreamed up. Sometimes my brother even got a part in the play. Uh, as we grew up, we shared our passions freely, and we grew together in knowledge and experience. You know how that is to grow up. Um, we always, though, it seemed when we got together, were more creative together than we were simply on our own. Our eyes began to open to the, the, the horizons that were beyond us. Uh, I began to understand what Nine Miles was. Uh, and that little town was the big city. It was 10,000 people. I grew up in a, a town of 1,250, so I really thought she was big time and very sophisticated. But eventually, learning and striving, pondering and seeking to understand the world began to take over our lives. The responsibilities as we grew older required us to go our separate ways, but still we look forward to the times when we're going to be together. From great distances, we remain in touch. Now, by natural inclination, uh, both of us entered into the profession of teaching, and I look back at the energy that swirled around me and Patty Gale when we got together, 
And sometimes when I'm in certain situations, I feel that energy again. When I'm with other people and I feel energy and I feel as being creative and I feel as coming up with ideas that without each other, we might not have dreamed up. And it's kind of like in the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. This was the Ruach, the breath of God. It swept over the firmament and created all that is seen and unseen. From forever, God was and is and always will be. From a long time ago, God has been creating the world. Finally, when there was enough of a world to sustain life, God created male and female in the Imago Dei, the image of God, and that image is love. That was God's plan for us. God fell in love with these funny little creatures that he had created that walked upright, that laughed and played together, that joined together and, and held hands and, and walked and dreamed up new ideas and new things to do. These were the ones that loved their maker. And they loved each other beyond measure. And God said, it is good. Goodness seems to be the hallmark of all that God loved in those early days of creation. Water was good, light was good, sky was good, land was good, vegetation was good, the light separating the day from the night. It was all good. It was so good that God decided it was good enough now for living things. And eventually, living creatures came onto the earth. There were flying things. Do you know why God created birds so that they could fly south? It's because it was too far to walk. <laughs> God created swimming things and creeping things and walking things on the earth. God loved them and blessed them and commanded them to be fruitful and multiply. Then came the finishing touch to God's living canvas, the Imago Dei. Let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over all. When you first read that, did you wonder, now who is God talking to? Our likeness, our image. I've always imagined that it was all the manifestations of God, creator, redeemer, sanctifier, all there in the midst of creation, swirling around with energy and synergy, and everything was born out of their love. God created all of that for humankind. It was a time of great happiness for all the creatures loved God and God loved all the creatures. Everything and everyone was grateful to God for life and for the bountiful blessings. That happiness and joy was the beginning of the story. And we understand that that happiness and joy is also the end of the story. Everything and everyone will again be grateful to God for life and for all the bountiful blessings. And we will sing again at the top of our voices, O oh Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. God wants to be loved because God created us in love. There is a, a meantime in this story. 
in the meantime, be- between creation and the coming again of God's peace in the kingdom, humankind got off track. We stopped laughing and playing and began to compete. Rather than cooperate with one another, we began to one-up each other. We became greedy. We became lustful for power. And God wept. Do you remember the story when Lazarus died and Mary and Martha came and they didn't understand and Jesus wept? The beloved forgot that there were enough blessings to go around. They did not understand. God intervened then and came among us. God showed all of these folks the plan, the plan that is to love, to care about each other, to care for each other. And God taught us through parables and through stories, through healing, God demonstrated love to us. He came to earth in the, in the form of a little baby, and he grew up, and he taught, and he taught. And then God taught them about love and service by washing their feet. And God taught them about play and laughter by dancing with them for a time. You remember that wedding in Cana. Sometimes God sensed that the disciples were getting it. There was a glimmer of hope. They saw throngs of people hanging on God's every word. They saw enthusiasm and they were thrilled. And then something would happen. And the glimmer of understanding left them and their eyes glazed over again. God told them of the ultimate sacrifice that would be made for them and said, you may not understand now, but one day, one day you will understand. I will send the comforter to you to show you the way. God always has been, is now, and always will be. Creation continues, redemption continues, because when we do something wrong and we feel remorse, there is the possibility of our transformation, and the Comforter will always be here to guide us. The love and friendship I experienced with Patty Gale, the relationship we had, the joy, the excitement, and the magic That is the way I imagine God's plan for us to be. Our love for God, our love for each other, it's like a dance. It is filled with energy and laughter, creativity and delight, questions and pondering and wondering together at the reflection of light in the darkness that distinguishes the night from the day. Good from not good, right from not right. It is the way I imagine the relationship between these manifestations of God, creation, redemption, sanctification. God's desire is for us to emulate that relationship, to live, to love, to use the gifts given to us to create in excitement and joy. It is the world God created It is the world that will be again. Sometimes we have glimmers of it now. Sometimes our eyes glaze over. But we do know, we do have the promise that it will be again in full. We always ask important questions of each other. We strive to share our experiences, to draw ourselves into the circle of engagement so that each of us can see the light that divides the day from the night. In relationship, we will dance 
and the energy will be thrown out from us like rays of sunshine and drops of dew on new growth. We will do our best to find God's kingdom now and share God's delight that was and is and will be from the beginning. We find glimmers of creativity and excitement between the times of discord and struggle. And those times give us hope. And the creation of the world continues and we continue to sing, O oh Lord our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Amen. <laughs>